From the kitchen of the cabin, it's the five games for Doomsday Review. Alubari. Why have craft? Aren't ideas good enough? Isn't enthusiasm good enough? Isn't passion good enough? Can't I just claim the title and be it? Can't I take the quick fix to being everything I've ever wanted to be and more? This is what we're led to believe. We don't need to work at something. Think it and you will be it. There is always a shortcut. Too fat? Simple. Subscribe to our lifestyle app, cut food from your diet and watch the pounds fall away. Too stupid? Simple. Subscribe to our three-week course and learn everything you'll need to know about anything guaranteed. The path of least resistance is always there and you barely need to machete away any vines at all. So why wouldn't you take it? Board games are a nascent art form. While there is undoubted craft in every aspect of gaming, it still feels ad hoc, more Steve Wozniak and less Steve Jobs. The elements of the craft of game design are only now beginning to be codified. A lexicon is only now beginning to be agreed upon. Board gaming still feels like it's wearing nappies and taking its first few tentative steps into the world, that the rules are still being written and what the craft of design actually is is still up for grabs. Though when you see it, the craft of good design is irrefutable. Craft is what guarantees a valuable experience. It is time taken to understand what makes something good. It is time taken to hone and refine and to work. It is what you feel when you play a game by Stefan Feld or Rainer Knizia. And it's what you feel when you play a game by Tony Boydell. Alubari from Tony Boydell is as sleek and as honed and as beautifully tooled an experience as you could wish to have. A reiteration of Snowdonia, players are engineers seeking to wind a railway line through the Indian hills to Darjeeling. This is achieved by placing workers in various locations that allow you to clear rubble, lay track, build stations and provide chai to your workers, the fuel on which the railway is built. All of this is elegantly fenced in by a simple weather mechanic that can spur your workers on or force them to seek the shelter of the work shed. There are also events that propel the action forward to ensure that it can never be mired in frustration and delay, and when the track to Darjeeling is built, the engineer with the most points wins. What is clear from the first placement in Alubari is that this is a design that has been thought about. While there is no doubt that this is a game that borrows heavily from Snowdonia, it is absolutely its own beast. A good design is one that offers the players a path into the game and simultaneously broadens the decision space and increases the player's power as to allow them to roam about that broadened space. It firstly offers constriction, but allows the players through their own industry to shake off those constrictions and tame the more aggressive aspects of the design. The problem with many recent games is that they lay all of the options out for the players from the first turn, which turns the experience into a formless mess. Not so in Alabari. There is an arc in this game, there is progression, and there is a great satisfaction in your actions becoming more impactful as the game advances. Every aspect of Alubari shows the benefit of knowing what you're doing, the benefit of craft. From the satisfaction of getting the track built, to the capricious weather system, to the event rondelle that was so interesting in Snowdonia and has been tweaked here to add unpredictability, bite and tension. If your planning is off, the events will bite you. With so many games becoming Skinner boxes, it's nice to have something to push against, but something that still allows you to compensate and plan for. The benefits that accrue in this game are not just dropped from the sky, they are earned, and that's so necessary for good gameplay. Chai is the secret sauce that when used at the right time can turn your actions from effective to stupendous. The game restricts your supply of this wonder drug at the beginning and you have to work to get it, but once you do, the game starts to positively gallop and this is what is the most impressive aspect of Alubari, the pace of the game. As you get more powerful, the game increases in pace, there is a tangible feeling of forward momentum. This game is so much more than an idea that has been tarted up with plastic and some nice art. This is a game that has been carved and whittled and polished to a sheen. All this has been achieved through craft through painstaking iteration and through years of experience and respect for the work. Tony Boydell is one of the best designers around, and it's my hope that Alubari will take him from indie darling to doyen of the mainstream. Alubari is a vindication of work. 
It's a vindication of craft. Alubari is so good because it is the result of many years of giving a fuck about getting better, and that is a lesson we can all learn. To never stand still and to always improve. And on top of that, you'll get to play a great game as well. Thank you for listening. And you can support the show by going to patreon.com forward slash 5G for D.